folks, time for another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Today, I'm gonna do a chord lesson, a lesson on how to play back and backup chords on the tune O'Keefe Sly. Um, so, being able to do this will make it easier for you to play with others, and also it will really inform your own playing because if you can add to um, chords to, if you can play the chord backup, it'll help you just add them to tune. So if you're good at playing the chords for O'Keefe Sly, you'll be able to add it to tune, to the tune. So really good practice. Um, if you don't already know O'Keefe Sly, I recommend learning the tune first. I've got a link to that lesson in the comments field below. And um, I also have some links on like beginning lessons for chord playing, playing chord backup on tunes. And uh, I think you should watch those too. You don't necessarily need to, but it'll help you get a perspective on what we're doing if you at least watch them at some point. All right, so uh, the two um, chords we'll be doing in this lesson, and by the way, at the end of the lesson, we're gonna practice just like a kind of like a play along track almost. Um, I'll have the I'll have a pre record version of the melody playing, and I'll be playing the chords so you can watch and play with me while hearing the melody, and that comes at the end. Um, so, all right. So, the in this tune we're only gonna do two chords: E minor and D major. And we're gonna play very simple versions of those, not because you have to, but because as a beginner, it's a good idea to just Play simple chords, get going on it, and then later, once you get a feel for it, we can do more interesting, what's called voicings of the chords, or versions of the chords. So for um, E minor, which is how we begin the tune, we're gonna play open G and D1, together as a double stop. That makes E minor. If you're wondering why, I got a lesson on the kind of the theory of chords and how to construct your own chords and uh, I'll link that below too. That's E minor. The other chord you can do, we will do, is D major where you put first on G and open D. Alright, now I recommend pausing the video and practicing those. Unless you're an expert at it, pause and practice. Get really comfortable with those chords right now. All right, thanks for doing that. And now we're gonna work on the progression. Let's just look at the A part to O'Keefe slide. And the progression is written in the comments field below as well. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna play through it with long notes. So for each bar, or every three beats, I'm gonna play a long note, all right? For those of you who read music and know about that, I'm gonna be playing dotted quarter notes. And I'm gonna play the A part and say the chord names out loud. You may wanna just listen at first and then try along. One, two, three, four, five, six, E minor, D major, E minor, D. E minor, D, D, E minor. All right, so that's the A part. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. E minor, D, E minor. Very good. Now I'll do the B part, a little bit different. Um, you may want to study it first. Uh, and then, uh, so here it goes, B part. One, two, three, four, five, six. E minor. E minor. E minor. E minor. D major. D. D. E minor. 
All right. So I recommend before going further, practice each part looping on the chords. See if you can memorize that. Take a moment and please do that right now. All right. Thanks for doing that. We're now going to play the entire tune with chords, two A's, two B's. I'm going to play um, in the background a pre-recorded version of the melody with a beat and I'm going to play the chords and I'm going to say them out loud. Maybe um, for the first A I'll say them and for the first B I'll say them. So then you can start to try to get it on your own a little bit. How does that sound? Let me know if any of these could be better, any of these approaches. And what I'm going to do is on the first time through, I'm going to play um, the long notes that we already did. And the second time, I'm going to play instead triplets for it. All right, you'll see. Even if you want to keep doing long notes, it'll totally work. Um, and you can even experiment with other rhythms if you like. So here we go. Keep slide. Get ready, it'll be about 90 beats per minute for those of you keeping score. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, here we go. E minor. D. E minor. D. E minor. D. D. E minor. Again, triplets. B part, E minor. E minor. E minor. E minor. D. 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 E minor. Triplets. E minor, D, E minor, D, E minor, D, D, E minor, again, triplets. B part, E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, D, 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 E minor, triplets. So I kind of lost the thread and um, a little bit I did, I mixed the triplets with the long notes and that's kind of a natural way to do it. Um, whatever feels right. And uh, just so you know, just to be clear, usually in Irish music, you don't hear fiddles doing chords. I like to show it anyway because I think it's useful. Who knows what kind of music you will be doing someday. And so maybe you'll be playing with a songwriter someday and knowing these nice chords will just sound great on that or some other kind of band. All right, so, um, so that's just a little side note. Glad you made it and I'll see you next time.